Hey, what's up? So in this video, we're going to explore how to check if a number is prime. And it's gonna be a very simple method of doing so. We'll pretty much just be line linearly checking all possible factors. And then uh, if any one of those factors actually is a factor or any one of those numbers is a factor of our big number, then we'll just return false. And otherwise we will return true. True meaning that it is prime and false meaning that it's not. So one particular thing about this algorithm we're going to do is instead of iterating all the way to the number that we want, we're instead going to iterate up to the square root of the number. And the reason we do this is because it's actually much quicker and it still gets us the same result. So imagine we have some number and we take the square root of that number. Well then the square root of that number times the square root of that number is gonna be equal to that number itself. So if we take any number below the square root of that number, then the other possible factor has to be higher than the square root of that number. In which case we're going to be double checking if we try to check all numbers from zero to n. So that's why we only have to check up to the square root of n. So we can start by importing square root from math because we're going to have to take the square root. So from math import square root. After we have that, we can start our function. We'll call it is prime. So def is prime and we'll take one parameter n. So the first thing we can do is just cross out a bunch of edge cases. So things like if n is two or n is three. So if n is equal to two or n is equal to three, then we automatically know that our number is prime. So we can just say return true. Now, if our number is less than two or if it's even or if it's divisible by three, then those are also edge cases we can just return false because we know that those are composite. So if n is less than two, or n mod two is equal to zero, that tells us if it's even, or n mod three is equal to zero, that tells us if it's a multiple of three. Then we just return false, because that means our number is composite, or it's just neither prime nor composite. Now, if neither of these cases are satisfied, we can just do a loop. So we'll say 4k in range. So we'll start at five, and we don't have to start at any number below that, because we've already verified those numbers are either prime or not prime. That's what lines four and five covered. So we'll start at five, and then we'll go all the way up to and including the square root of our number. And we'll just say plus one because this could be a decimal number. And plus one, that'll guarantee that we always take the upper bound of it. So int of this, just to make sure that we are taking an integer version because we can only use integers in the range function. And we'll iterate by two. And we do by two because we already know that any odd number could maybe be a factor of our number, but we've already ruled out any even factors in line four right here. So we iterate by two. Next, we can check if n mod k is equal to zero, that tells us if k is a factor of n, and if that's the case, we return false, because that means we found a factor of n that's not equal to n. And finally, if we iterate through the whole thing and we don't find any factors, that means our number is prime, so we'll say return true. So that's it for this algorithm. Let's test out a few values. So we'll start off with some simple ones. Let's say print is prime. Um, let's say seven. Seven is obviously prime. And let's maybe do 11. That's also prime. Uh, now let's do 15. 15 is composite, so we should see that it says false. And then let's try some bigger numbers. Let's take 107. And then maybe 127. And then we can take maybe print is prime 3907. This one might be true or might be false. So let's check. We run this and we see that we get true, true, false, true, true, true. All right, looks like we conveniently chose five prime numbers and one composite number. Well, we know seven is prime, 11 is prime, 15 is composite, and it turns out that 107, 129, and 3907 are all prime. Let's also look at a composite number. So maybe is prime, well, I know that 3901 is composite. So I'll run this again, and I see that now I have a false value. So it looks like that worked. And just to also see what we can do with this, let's generate the first however many prime numbers up to 100. So let's print, and we'll just extract a list i for i in range. We'll go to 100 if is prime i. So all the prime numbers up to and including 100. And we can run this, and we see that we get 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and we can scroll here. And we only get prime numbers that are listed here. So it looks like that worked. So that's it for this video, and I hope this was helpful.